Hello and welcome to another video and since doing the building the gym series I've been getting a million questions asking how much the gym costs. Now I wasn't going to make this video because I feel like talking about how expensive my gym is makes me look like a bit of a dick but you guys seem desperate to know. Videos about money typically perform well on YouTube so here we are. Now in today's video I'm going to do a cost breakdown of every single item in the gym including the building itself. I've got them all written down with the prices on my phone because I'm not freaking Rayman. And before we start a few quick disclaimers. Firstly I'm an absolute sicker with almost 3 million followers across YouTube and Instagram. So a lot of the stuff in this gym I didn't actually pay for. Right? For example, Bulldog are my equipment sponsors, so all of the equipment in the gym they sorted me out with. So yeah, just bear that in mind before you go mental about me spending a million pounds on the gym because I didn't. And secondly, and this is a big one, this gym is literally my job, like it's my livelihood. Right? It's not the same as like the average person that works a regular job setting up a gym in their front room. Right? This is literally like I work for me. This is essentially my office. I create like all of my, all the majority of my content from this building. So like this building directly contributes towards my salary and therefore it makes sense for me to get the best possible setup I could get. Like there are obviously cheaper alternatives out there, I could have done it like significantly cheaper than I did, but like I said, I didn't want to compromise on any element of the gym. And thirdly, and this isn't really a disclaimer, but please press the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe. Last time I checked, around half of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please stop being an absolute bunch of melts. Press the subscribe button and let's hit two million, yeah? Okay, we're in, this is it. How much did my gym cost to the penny? How much am I absolutely back up now as a result? building this bad boy let's find out we're gonna go in hard with the actual building of the of the building right the building itself obviously where I differ from a lot of people that are doing home gyms is that I built one I didn't just set it up in my house or in a shed or in a garage or an existing uh, structure like we built this from scratch okay so the company I went with are called e garden rooms now it ended up costing 34,000 pounds to build this structure right now I went around Got like three or four, actually I think four or five quotes from elsewhere. 30 to 40 grand was a pretty consistent quote I was getting from everyone. Uh, now these guys, e-garden rooms, I'd seen their, their, their work previously. I knew a couple of guys that had stuff done with them. It was all like really, really nicely done. Plus, key, this is key for me, they were available. I was doing this like around the lockdown period. And so most companies couldn't do anything for me in the short term. These guys could, and so that kind of made my mind up. And bear in mind that cost included everything. So like from the demolition of the existing building to obviously the building of this one, all the decoration inside the window the doors the insulation of the air corner like lots of those little things plus like obviously we made it quite unique like the aluminium cladding the recess all of that stuff we did isn't kind of part of their general remit like we could have made it a lot cheaper by just making it kind of a standard cedar wood clad building we wanted to make it look really cool make it kind of unique and different and also crucially tie into our plans for the house so it didn't look like a weird kind of sore thumb in the garden and yeah to be honest considering how it's come out like i'm really really happy with that price moving inside we have the mirrors now the mirrors i got from a company called glass services it's like a local glass company i did look at some kind of bigger like nationwide online retailers but they were a quite expensive and b they had a really long lead time on how quickly those things could get to me and i wanted them straight away because i'm an impatient guy they ended up costing me 500 40 pounds which is ironically cheaper than the cost of the acrylic ones that I got initially if you're unaware I got acrylic mirrors because I'm an idiot and I wanted to get them like the next day so I got those all the things I read said they're ridiculously hard to install and to keep flat but I got them installed and they looked terrible they were super wavy they were like circus mirrors so yeah I ended up sucking it up and getting glass ones instead but I'm just gonna ignore the outlet because it's not part of the finished product the aircon was an LG device it's from a company called aircon 247 I think who by the way friggin suck like it took them about six months to get to me it said it was gonna deliver it on a certain day at a certain time didn't turn up that happened like two or three times so definitely wouldn't recommend them in terms of getting aircon but I got it in the end it cost 800 pounds obviously that seems like a lot but it's not just a basic aircon system it's obviously a big one it goes hot it goes cold it fills the whole area it has a massive compressor out the back because it is like a gas run system so yeah it's a pretty serious bit of kit the speaker is a Sonos move that was very kindly gifted to me by a company called smart home sounds amongst my absolute sickos that cost 399 pounds it's a wi-fi speaker you can also use it the bluetooth speaker which is crucial for me because the wi-fi down there friggin sucks so yeah again very happy with that and then the blinds pretty exciting I know but I want to cover everything in the gym they were from a company called Swift Direct Blinds the small one or the smaller one for the window was 60 pounds the massive one for the door was hundred pounds so 160 pounds in total now they're actually very hard to get hold of for two reasons firstly those doors are friggin massive so it was hard to find a company that did blinds that size secondly it was surprisingly difficult to find black blinds like most companies do them 
with like the white elements of them. Finding completely black lines was really, really difficult, but we found them in the end. And also, yeah, happy with those. I'm gonna stop saying happy with those because I'm happy with everything that's gonna get annoying. Moving on to the gym equipment, the actual stuff that matters, right? The stuff inside the gym that I'm actually using that you guys would be buying if you were doing your own home gym. So first things first, we have the flooring. By the way, all that said, all this stuff is from Baldur, right? So you can find all the stuff on the website. A lot of it isn't available right now because of the whole situation, but it will be in the coming weeks and months. And like I said, the company is amazing. So first things first, the flooring. The flooring, um, I got one meter square. I think they're called Morphic floor tiles. They have these kind of undulating bits on the bottom, so they're super sticky. They're really easy to install. You just kind of put them on a little cross thing and they fit in nice. It's really satisfying. I needed 35 of those. The gym is four by eight meters, so like 32 square meters, I believe. So I got 32. I got three more as backup in case we messed them up and they ended up being really handy for the platforms that we built. Uh, 35 of those tiles, 35 pounds each, 1,225 pounds on the floor. Next up, the squat rack, which is an absolute monster, by the way. It is a mammoth half rack. I friggin' love it. That costs 1,205 pounds. It is an absolute beast. Like trying to install it and fit those friggin' enormous bolts was a mission, but like now it's done. I feel like you literally, I feel like you could drive a friggin' truck into it and it wouldn't go anywhere. On the topic of the squat rack, I have been asked a few times why I didn't go for a full power rack. To be honest, I don't like them. I don't like squatting in the power rack. I feel like it kind of like squashes me up too much. I like the feeling of having space around me. I very rarely get stuck and have to dump a squat. And if I do, I'm happy to do it on the floor because I've got the squat platform, so I'm sorted in that front. Plus, like it's massive. A full power rack is friggin' huge. My gym isn't that big. I feel like it will be an unnecessary use of space. And finally, it gets in the way. If you're trying to film a video of your squatting and you've got a friggin' massive power rack in between you and the camera, like it just looks a bit rubbish, you know? So that's why I opted for a half rack and I'm really happy with it. Damn it, why do I keep saying I'm happy with stuff? Drinking game. Go back and watch this whole video from the start and every time I tell you I'm happy with something, take a shot. Okay, the dumbbells. A full set of CPU dumbbells from 2.5 kilograms up to 50 kilograms, AKA friggin' loads of dumbbells now. These aren't actually available from Bulldog right now. They have the hex equivalents, they're the massive rubber ones. Those ones for the same set cost around two and a half thousand pounds. That gives you a rough ballpark of how much those bad boys would cost. And then in terms of the rack, that is also not available right now. But if you look online for a full dumbbell rack, you're probably looking at somewhere in the region of a thousand pounds for that kind of size of rack. I was gonna make a joke about big racks, not gonna do it. Then we have the dual cable pulley, which I think was the single most expensive item in the gym. That came in at 2,790 pounds. But that one is absolutely integral to me. I've said it in the last video, like, I don't have any machines in my gym. It's very hard to justify with a gym of this size putting a machine in because you're looking at like a lap pull down, for example, that is a massive unit and you, know, you only do like one exercise on it, so it doesn't make sense. So that dual cable pulley for me covers pretty much all of my accessory work, so it's incredibly useful in a gym of this size. Moving on to the bumper plates, this is a bit of a strange one because I haven't got like full sets as such, which costs us a little bit of an estimation. Basically, um, when Bulldog sent me out the first lot of stuff, the new bumpers weren't in stock because I needed the weight straight away so I could start lifting because I'm an impatient guy and I want to be strong AF. They just kind of scraped together all the plates they had knocking about and sent them out to me. They've subsequently sent me a set of their new hybrid bumpers. Now these ones aren't available right now. So again, the cost is a bit of an estimate. But in total, I have two full sets of bumpers, which is going to be around 415 pounds per set. So in total, for all the bumpers, you're looking at around 830 pounds. Then the barbell I have, which I use for my bench pressing and squatting, 285 pounds. I actually have two barbells, but the one that is from Bulldog, yeah, 285 pounds. They're actually going to replace it fairly soon with a black one, which is going to look sick, but that is the one I'm using right now. And to finish the Bulldog gym equipment, we have the benches, and I'm going to say it, I friggin' love them, like I'm putting out there. They are literally the best benches I've ever used, and I've used quite a few. These are the Bulldog adjustable 2.0 benches. Uh, they were 495 pounds each, and like I said, I have two of them, so that makes 990 pounds. Right, there were a few extras, a few bits that I didn't get from Bulldog. So first things first, the platforms. Um, obviously, we built a squat platform, we built a deadlift platform. Now, the rubber elements of that were used from the gym flooring, so we already had that. The wood element was just like marine ply. We got it from B&Q. We needed five massive sheets in the end. They were 75 pounds each for us. So for that wood, you're looking at 375 pounds. And then that bar, which is a crucial element of any gym, in my opinion, a Texas deadlift bar, the best deadlift bar on the planet, bar none. That cost me 600 pounds. I got it from Pullum Sports, I think it was. It was ridiculously hard to get hold of. They are literally like gold dust. Like go online in the UK now or anywhere in Europe and try and find a Texas deadlift bar. You won't find one. They're like, Super niche and obviously given the current environment, like it's very hard to get hold of anything. So yeah, that took me friggin' ages just trawling the internet. I managed to find like the very last one that someone had in stock. I got it, well happy with it. Take a shot. And lastly, I picked up some metal 20 kilogram plates off eBay. Basically, bump plates are quite wide. I'm quite strong, so I couldn't fit enough weight on the bar, particularly when it came to deadlifting. So I found these plates on eBay. They are a hundred pounds for 220. You can get them cheaper, but 
I wanted to check they were good, so I got them kind of two at a time. So I brought six in total, three sets of two, 100 pounds per set, so that cost me 300 pounds. And one annoying thing about those is they're not full size. Bear that in mind if you are buying metal weights with eBay or Amazon or wherever, like, all the ones I've seen, I went through a lot of them. None of them are full size plates. Some of them are close, but they're not full size. What that means is, if you have regular plates or regular bumper plates, when you put these metal plates on, they're not gonna come to the ground. So for deadlifting, for example, it's not ideal. Plus, it looks a bit rubbish, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm not calling you a beggar. Just saying, like, in that context, I was a beggar, like a really strong beggar. And that gives us a grand total for the entire gym build of 47,999 pounds. What the hell? That was a lot of money. It's okay, no panic. Yeah, it seems like a lot, I mean, it is a lot, but bear in mind, like the vast majority of that is the cost of building the actual building. Obviously, most people aren't gonna be doing that. They're gonna be kitting out an existing building and therefore you can take off like three quarters or four fifths or whatever of that price. Also, bear in mind, like I said at the beginning, like I wasn't trying to, to like, you know, cut corners and try and find the cheapest things I could. You could obviously get things cheaper, with dumbbells, you can shop around and find used ones and pick them up in like pairs or find individual plates here and there. There are obviously bits you can get cheaper. Like I said, for me, I wanted to get the best setup I could possibly get. And like I said, I was fortunate enough to work with a company like Bulldog who made the whole process significantly easier for me. Also bear in mind, if you are looking to set up a home gym, it is incredibly hard to get hold of equipment like any gym equipment apart from friggin' bands at the moment because it's in such high demand. So the stock is very low. Companies are charging lots of money for stuff because they can. So yeah, even, even finding like second-hand stuff and finding random bits from all over the place is still gonna cost you a lot more than it would have done, say, a year ago. But yes, that is the video done. I think I've covered everything. Like, I hope you found that informative. I hope it didn't come across in the wrong way. Like I said, it wasn't. I wasn't making this to, to boast or to sound like a gimp about how much my gym cost. It was more just because, A, you guys wanted to know, um, and I thought it might be useful for someone that is looking to set up a gym of their own. Um, yeah, we're done. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh.